Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Okay, thank you and thank you Mr. President for uh, your partnership and your leadership and creating this opportunity for us to do And today we're proud to announce uh, on behalf of the Rockefeller Foundation and the Global Energy Alliance for Technical Advantage that we are working in partnership with His Excellency and the entire leadership team in Zambia to launch this mini-grid initiative. The goal initially for this initiative is to uh, very rapidly uh, tender and roll out mainly 100 mini grids that would in fact constitute solar battery powered installations that allow power to reach communities in particular in rural Zambia. The Rockefeller Foundation for now more than 10 years has worked to develop these systems with our commercial and development partners in India, in uh, Nigeria, Ethiopia, and other parts of the world. And we're excited that this effort will now be uh, a priority in Zambia. What we have seen from studying the impact of bringing affordable, reliable, always-on electricity to rural communities is that if done right and done well and done effectively, uh, we're able to provide electricity at prices that are affordable to rural communities and families, that we're able to provide productive power that improves uh, the economic opportunities, in particular related to agriculture, agricultural production, and post-harvest agriculture and food processing, and that the small businesses that become uh, the drivers of improved energy demand go on to create jobs and opportunities for young people and training and educational opportunities for those people as well in these communities. So we're excited about this collaboration. We're committed to financing the first 100 million, I'm sorry, the first 100 mini grids uh, as part of the larger effort that will bring a set of funders together to fund uh, many, many more grids after the initial rollout. So uh, I look forward, I hope, Mr. President, that I secure an invitation to come when these roll out. <laughs> and I'm excited on behalf of both the Rockefeller Foundation and our partners, but also uh, the leadership and the people of Zambia. This, I think this commitment, which uh, is probably one of the fastest evolving programs we've been involved in anywhere in the world, uh, is only happening because of the extraordinary leadership of the President and, and the President's uh, insistence that we overcome barriers to move very quickly to serve the people of Zambia with power, electricity, hope, and opportunity. So, thank you. Yeah. 
some of the next question started with the language, right? So, <laughs> so, so, so thank you very much, good to see you. A couple of them, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you for making me go away from time. Thank you so much. Just as uh, Raja said, let me just uh, quickly thank you for
we will share the, pa the passion to improve the livelihoods of our people across the planet. Well, of course, I said the planet will start thinking of other things, but the world at last. So thank you to our partners. But let me send a small, mild message to all of us here in this room in Zambia. We have to take opportunities when they are available. Nothing should stand in the way of actualizing this initiative. It could be a legal issue, and I'm glad we're already working on those legal issues. So come on, let this come. Sometimes we promulgate laws, and we are not futuristic enough. So we must deal with all of those issues, legal, regulatory, any act. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.